So it's a while since um, we did our first quick search video. So I thought it'd be an idea to um, show kind of what quick search is doing these days. It hasn't changed so much, but it's a really good example of how the blotter not only provides you with UI functionality, but also API um, and other ways of accessing our grid. So let's look at quick search. Let's start with a very basic um, type of search. So if I type in 15, I can see any cell, whether it's a string or a number, which has 15 in it, it works in real time. So if I was to change this to 15 corp, it would change as well. So that's quick search. Very quickly highlights any cell which matches your inputted search text. So what else can you do with quick search? Well, you could change um, the, the colors, obviously. So we can say from now on, let's just make it dark yellow. And you can also change um, what the behavior is. So the default is to highlight cells. You can say, just show me the rows that match. So you can see we're not seeing all the rows. Or you can say, and we'll keep this for the rest of this uh, demo, highlight cells and show me matching rows. So now I'm only seeing rows which have got 15 in. Um, it works the same with string. So if I was to do MO, I see any cell. Um, with MO in. What happens if you want to have a cell starting with it? Well, then you just do an asterisk and you just see those which start. So again, if I do 12, I only see those which start with the 12. And if I take it out, I see anything with the 12 in. Um, what else can you do? Well, you can also um, do very um, useful operators. So for instance, if you want to see any cell which is greater than 100, you can do that greater than 10 um, you, and that will look at any number cell or you can do less than so if I was anything which is less than 400 um, pretty much every number comes up but not all of them um, you can always if you want to see an exact value you can do that as well so for instance if we say I want to see just anything with EUR I'm only seeing uh, I'm only seeing that or alternatively if you want to see everything except something then you can say not uh, 137 and then only the cells which have 137 in um, don't get highlighted so they're your they're your indicators um, and that's quick search what else can you do well quick search will also work even if the uh, if you're using say a renderer so here's a good example here let's create um, a, a cell renderer so let's create a percent bar let's say we're going to make it from minus 800 to 800 we'll keep the default colors so there we are, that's our change on here. And now if I say I want to see anything which is greater than 500, there we are, it's only showing me those which are, it's, it's highlighting that, 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 um, that column and only showing me the values which are greater than 500. And now I can see all of them again. So what happens if you want to run quick search but you don't want to use our toolbars? And this is the same with all our functions. So we have a very powerful um, API which allows you to access all the functionality in the adaptable blotter through your own code. If you want to see details, you can go to our, um, our help site, which has um, got full value, full details of everything we do. Have a look in the admin guide. Um, go to the blotter API section, which has got one article on all our for each function. And then if you go to quick search, you'll see the functions available. So we're going to look at these two. We're going to look at quick search run where you can just basically pass in any text and quick search will run and obviously quick search clear which clears it so let's run that up so the first thing we'll do is let's um, let's minimize that in fact you know what let's hide it all together so let's hide the dashboard and then what we've done is I've got some external text here so we've just created a small div with two buttons one to run quick search one to clear quick search and what they do is they, they run these functions here. So the run quick search function is basically going to get that element and it's going to run the adaptable blotter API quick search run method. And the clear does the same thing, it runs a clear method. So how does that work? So if I now view the blotter, there we are. So we're now outside. Um, and then if I say I want to see anything with MOR and run, there we are, it's running MOR and then I can clear it and it will all work exactly the same. So I want to see anything greater than 100 and run, it's passing me anything greater than 100. So this is working completely outside of our UI, but it's using the, um, the API 
and we know that's there because if I put the dashboard back you'll see that it's greater than 100 so there we are quick search a very powerful way to highlight um, any rows that match particular text you want you can use operators and you have the ability to say I only want to see matching rows um, or I want to see all rows so if I again if I've got greater than a thousand actually let's make it greater than 700 you can see we've only got these rows here but if I was to change that and say highlight the cells but don't filter on the rows then everything's available but only the ones greater than 700 are shown. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please get in touch and we look forward to hearing from you.